What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and well, not much going on today, so I still wanted to do some sort of video, and I was looking at some announcements, seeing if I stumble upon something that I found interesting. And well, I think I found a game that was just recently announced, called Etheria Restart. And looking at the trailer, I went, okay, this game might be interesting, I might actually like it, we'll have to see. Now, before I continue, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. So, Etheria Restart is a free-to-play game that was announced recently. It's supposed to come out on iOS, Android, and PC. So usually I would stay away from these types of games that come more towards like the mobile phone market because I just don't like playing mobile phone games. I'm not a fan of them. I and I also like their gotcha games, but it's still I just don't enjoy them. A lot of times I wish some of the mobile phone games had a PC version. However, this game seems that it's going to be releasing a PC version. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, I actually want to give it a shot. There's also a Steam page up if anybody wants to check it out. And the game is supposed to come out 2023. The trailer that they released doesn't show much gameplay, but I do like what we see, which is the music. I think it's okay. It's nice. <laughs> I like a lot of the character designs and the art style that the game has going. I feel graphically the game looks fine for this anime aesthetic that it's going for. Now, here is the description of the game for those that are interested. All are buried in an everlasting snow storm in the real world. To guard the only remaining lives, human created Etheria, a virtual world to escape from the reality, to free their minds, sensations, to start a new life. Everything from skyscrapers, busiest entertainments and business districts to city parks. Beam of lights amongst millions glowing data stripes traveling in the air all come together becoming Etheria. All of it together construct a fanciful virtual world for hyperlinkers to drift from battle to battle with the help from soul priest animus allies. You're in battle with Etheria's urban animus who were once ancestral angelic beings. Breaking out from average Average playable characters in the game, Animuses in Asteria are the virtual beings awakened from the collision between ancient myth and urban city lives. Collect Animus character cards to build up your team of force with all sorts of ethereal abilities and skills, together to reveal the hidden secrets in this virtual world. So looking at the plot, uh, it might be interesting, it's a little bit confusing, so I'm hoping uh, they explain it a bit more, but yeah, I mean, I like the premise from what I can understand. <laughs> and from the trailer, a lot looks interesting, but there is something that is really fucking me up. And that is that the game is being described as a turn-based action RPG. Like, what? I know you have turn-based RPGs, which I'm a huge fan of, I love them, they are one of my favorite genres to play. And then you have action RPG games, which a lot of people love. I feel they are like two subgenres, you know, with RPG games. And they're very different with what they try to achieve and how the game plays. But here, like, they're saying they're combining both? Which got me questioning how things are gonna be working. I mean, a turn-based game can have quote-unquote action. But I feel we sort of have been like putting the words like when you put action RPG or turn-based RPG into like categories of sub-genres. So when you mash them together, it sounds like you're saying, oh, it's gonna be a mix of both. So it's like, are they gonna use like a hybrid form? Which is why they say it's a turn-based action. RPG or is it just a translation error or something written wrong because it could be that I mean the publisher and the developer if I'm not mistaken are like in Shanghai so it could be a mistranslation in English so I really don't know I haven't seen gameplay or anything so it could be just a turn-based RPG that's gonna have action in it you know it's not a 
action RPG or there's a lot of stuff that's running in my mind when I'm like trying to sort of understand. It could just be simple that like they found a way but I, I don't know. For me, I, I always try to like, oh, you have turn-based RPGs and you have action RPGs. Only time will tell us what this is once they reveal more information or show us some gameplay so we actually understand and feel concept-wise what this is. Now, in the end, I like what I saw in the trailer. It's a free-to-play game and my guess is it's probably going to be a gacha game since it's heading to mobile phones, but... Since it's coming to PC, I actually might give it a shot just to try it out and see what's up with this game. As always though, it's not just about me. What are your thoughts guys? Feel free to leave them down below. This has been Oblivious Gamer and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.